Borussia Dortmund 3, FC Copenhagen 0. And two assists, Janish, for Gio Reyna. He didn't even start the game. He came on as a substitute pretty early. The first American men's national team player to get two assists in the Champions League for 12 years. He really did have an impact today. Yeah, that's uh, that's almost secondary in my mind. It's the fact that he came in. He had to came in uh, uh, early, of course, uh, in a game because of injury, wasn't it, to Targan Azard? Uh, and and you know when you look at his performance, just you know many of us are on this side of the uh, Atlantic are just happy that he, he stayed healthy, and everything else is a bonus. And what we saw as a bonus is what we normally see from Gia Arena because he's an extremely talented player, one of the most intelligent players, certainly uh, for the United States. But you can even look at that game, you'd pick him out, wouldn't you? I mean, if you look at these two assists, and the first one could have probably had to go himself, right? But just that vision uh, to find Rafael Guerrero. And and even on the second one, uh, uh, maybe that's one even better. I think it was Brandt, wasn't it? Uh, so so really, really positive uh, uh, from him because, uh, you know, for the benefit of this piece, obviously, the United States national team will, will uh, desperately need this sort of a player in the World Cup in Qatar. So uh, uh, tremendous performance and, 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 a, and a healthy one as far as we know. Let's hope so. Looking at the players midfield to front for the U.S. men's national team, if everybody's fit, Gio Reyna, is he going to come off the bench for the U.S. in Qatar like he did for Dortmund? Or what does he need to do to get one of the starting jerseys for the first game? No, I think I think if he's absolutely fit and continues to play, he picks himself in the starting eleven. Really, I mean, you can't afford to have players of of this ilk and intelligence on the bench. I mean, there's obviously a puzzle that you have to uh, you have to fit in a four two three one. There are plenty of players deserving uh, uh, of that. Uh, Brendan Anderson uh, right now looks a player that must be in the starting lineup. But I think there's a fluidity if you if you're talking about the front players because they all can play in a different position. If you look at Giorena, he can play central. He can play on the left-hand side, he can play on the right-hand side. Brendan Aronson, of course, can do the same. He does it for Leeds, playing on the right side and, and sometimes centrally. Christian Pulisic, of course, is a bit of an issue uh, right now because he is not playing very much uh, for um, for Chelsea, but every time he comes back to the national team, he plays well. So you have those three players at Timmy Weah, who's struggling right now too in terms of playing time. Uh, the, the, the attacking players, the number nines uh, right now, went from struggling to to actually playing well. So, you know, coming back to Borussia Dortmund, though, really, I mean, what a bonus he is. Uh, Marco Reus uh, scoring the goal today. Jude Bellingham, obviously, wow. I mean, the best player on the pitch for me, and he scored. Oh, it was Jude Bellingham for that second goal, uh, and not Julian Brown, because uh, Arena set him up. So he was absolutely tremendous as well. Um, Nicholas Zule, another player I thought today did well, and particularly get involved in the attack. So, all in all, an easy win for Borussia Dortmund and uh, for fans in the United States. My goodness, not just a good outing, uh, but obviously an intelligent one, couple of assists and really, really, you know, I mean, when you miss so much time to come to this level right away, uh, that's obviously very positive. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.